Plato's myth. Oh, takes me right back to kindergarten. So I showed you the mosquito dunks. So now, parents, you need to know about these. There's no poison with these traps. They are for yellow jacket wasps. You know those ones who make a mess of your picnic? Those are the adult wasps. They're coming for protein or meat so that they can feed it to their larva. They don't eat it. They like flower nectar. They'll go to the fennel at school and drink all day long. That's for them. They like a sweet soda pop can that's left open. That's why you gotta really be careful so you don't get stung in the lips at the beach. You have to put something over your soda pop can. They do not like diet, only the sugar stuff. But for their larva, they eat meat. And that's why they'll come with their big jaws and scissor off a piece of the children's hot dog or some of that turkey sandwich. The gross part is that they also go to roadkill. And they take that meat and feed it to their young. A lot of them came out. A lot of queens emerged to start new colonies in February when we had that heat wave. But then it got really cold again. And a lot of them froze. The smart ones who stayed underground in old gopher holes and old burrows, they're just starting to come out now. And the queens are look just like the workers, only they have much larger abdomens because they produce the eggs. This is something that can catch them in your yard if you don't want them to bother you at a picnic or a cookout. And these don't have any poison in them. They are lures that have, lures means they attract it, children. It means, um, and they have pheromones in them. That is the smell of mating, the smell of giving and getting the spark of life. Many insects have it. Many insects have it. their own special smell. And butterflies in particular and moths have their own special smells. But they have the smell that you can buy that they've created in the laboratory. And it's fake, but it works. And they put it in this little package. And it smells like time to have children. They also do it in a plastic cartridge that is easier to use. You just like pop this plastic thing in. Here, I should open it up and show you guys. Now I'm too lazy. I'm going to show you the hard way first. This is also cheaper. So all I would do is cut the end off of this wearing some gloves. You don't want to get this smell on you or it will attract them to you. And if you're not fond of yellow jackets crawling in your hair, you don't want to have this on you. I always do it at night in my garage and I make sure that I wear some gloves so I don't get that smell on my hands because you can't wash it off for days and yellow jackets will come to your fingers. And then you take this ball of cotton and you open up your trap and you pull this part out, which is usually easier said than done for me. Well, this is going to drive me crazy. All right. Now I feel really dumb. <sighs> You're supposed to be able to... Mona could turn it off for a second. Okay, I'm back. And nobody laugh. I finally figured out you have to put your hand in there and kind of slide this thing out. Plus, they have these little finger taps. It takes a couple minutes to get it out of there. I don't know why. Bad design. But it does work. So they give you this cool sheet, and it tells you all the kinds of yellow jackets that live here. They just show you their abdomen, because their abdomens are all yellow and black, venom warning colors, you know, for their sting, but their pattern is different. We have two kinds of yellow jackets right around here. One kind makes a paper nest up in the tree. It looks like a big kind of overblown football. And the ones I have around here the most are the ones that go underground in old gopher or mole holes. But I don't get them because I put these traps out at the right time. So all you need to do is, with gloves on, is cut this open, squirt it on the cotton in the bottom of this. Then you put this in here. And the reason I took it out was because you have to take it out to clean out old yellow jackets. And 
you want to make sure that if you ever clean it out, there are none alive in there. So you can just take it and you can leave it in the sun for a while, and then they'll dry out. For people who are vegetarians, I know this is hard to watch, but some people are allergic to wasp stings, and so they need to know about this product. And then, now this has that smell in it, you just screw this on the bottom. And I do it at night, so I don't have yellow jackets like coming after me. And then it has a little twisty tie on the top. You need to put it somewhere that it gets warmed up in the morning sun. That will release the smell, and that will get the yellow jackets to come. I put six around my yard. I must have them because I keep bees. And yellow jackets eat bees, and they'll go inside the hive, and they'll take the larva, and it can be really bad. You can lose a whole hive that way if there's a great big yellow jacket nest somewhere. So for me, these are a have to have. I put six of them around. I caught one big queen. So she would have been the starter. I may not catch any more. I might, but I may not catch any more. I might have headed her off at the pass. So right now, it's the end of, of April. Get these out soon. If you have trouble with them in your yard, for sure put them around if you're a beekeeper. You're going to need to have them. And take a look at this paper. This is just kind of neat. I really enjoyed reading about yellow jackets on the back. They tell you all kinds of information.